okay? Now I have vector equations of lines. So I've got two lines in a plane. Show the lines are parallel and distinct. Well, my first direction vector, we will call that, uh, let's call it D1. So D1 is 3, negative 1, 1. Direction of line 2, negative 6, 2, negative 2. Well, D2 is equal to negative 2 D1. Therefore, line 1 is parallel to line 2. They're distinct if they don't share all the same points. So if this point, 1, 4, 4, is not on this line, then they must be distinct. So 1, 4, 4 does that equal 2, 4, 1 plus t, 3, negative 1, 1. Well, to be equal, looking at this line, t would have to be 0. But if t was 0, I would get a 2 and a 1 instead of a 1 and a 4. So this is not equal. So lines are distinct. Distinct. Did I give my space this? Ah, still not space. Okay, so now I want a vector equation of the plane that contains both of these lines. Well, I've got two directions already from my lines, and I've got at least one point. So I can use either one of these points and both of these directions to make my vector equation of the plane. So this time I'm gonna say R equals, pick any one of the points, doesn't matter, one, four, four, plus S times negative six, two, Ooh, this isn't going to work because my directions are the same. So I'm still going to use one of these directions, but now in my other in my last direction, instead of thinking of both of these directions because they're the same, I'm going to use the direction that goes from this point to get to this point. Because if both of these lines are on the plane, then both of these points must also be on the plane. So another direction vector is to go from this point to this point or vice versa. So that's what I'm going to use as my third direction. So 2 to 1 is negative 1, 4 to 4 is 0, and 1 to 4 is 3. So there's my last direction going between the points on the line. On the lines.